Hey everyone, I'm Sai Priya, a senior cloud engineer from the innovation team. Today, we are going to talk about deploying artifacts to Oracle Cloud from Jenkins using OCI DevOps plugin. OCI DevOps service is a complete continuous integration or delivery platform for developers and operators to collaboratively develop, build, test, and deploy software. In this demonstration, you're going to see how we can install and configure Jenkins, creating a compute instance and configuring the policies on OCI console, creating a deployment pipeline on OCI DevOps, creating a build job in Jenkins, and testing the deployment. The first step is to install and configure Jenkins. Go ahead and install Homebrew. If you haven't already, go ahead and run these commands in order to add Homebrew to your path. Check the version of Brew and Java. If you haven't installed Java in the past, go ahead and install using the Brew command. We will now install Jenkins in our local system. Configure the administrator password and install the selected plugins. Make sure you're also installing OCI DevOps plugin along with Groovy. The next step is to create a compute instance on OCI and configuring the policies. Click on the instances under the compute in the navigation pane and create a compute instance. Type the name of the compute instance and download the SSH key pair. Now, go ahead and upload the public key that you just downloaded. If any of your commands in the instance group deployment configuration requires the sudo permissions, you need to grant the user with the sudo privileges using a script. Go to the advanced options and add the following cloud init script. Click on the create button in order to create a compute instance. The dynamic group allows to group the OCI compute instances as principal actors. You can then create policies to permit instances to make API calls against OCI services. Go ahead and configure the matching rules as mentioned. In this scenario, I have given the dynamic group access to the entire tenancy. However, you can restrict the access to a specific compartment. The next step is to create a deployment pipeline in OCI DevOps. Firstly, let's go ahead and create an artifact registry. So this is where you're going to store, share, and manage all the artifacts for this project. We will now go ahead and create a DevOps project. Here, I've already created one project for you. Create an instance group so that you can group many compute instances at once to roll the deployment. For now, I'm going to add just one instance. In the artifact section, we are going to store deploy spec artifact to store the instance group configuration. And we have the Jenkins artifact where you're going to store your generic artifacts that is artifacts.tar.gz to create a deployment pipeline. Click on create pipeline and then click on add stage. Now select deploy incrementally through compute instance group and then click next. Enter the stage name. Select the deployment configuration artifact and also the Jenkins artifact. Now pick the environment. So here we are going to use the instance group environment which we just created. Select the rollout policy and update the instance rollout by percentage and delay between the batches and hit the add button. We will now see how we can create a build job in Jenkins. Log in to Jenkins console in your local machine with your credentials. The OCI credentials are required to manage and access your OCI resources. For which, click on Manage Jenkins, System, Global Credentials, and then New OCI Credentials. The next step is to add a fingerprint, for which you'll have to switch to your OCI console, and then select API key. Click on add API key and download your private and public key. After you download the key pair, you'll be able to see the API fingerprint. 
Now paste the fingerprint in your Jenkins console. Open the private key.pem file which you just downloaded in an editor and paste its contents in the console. The next step is to paste the tenancy ID, user ID and the region. Give a name for the credentials and test the connection. Once the test is successful, click create. Here, we have declared the variables for version number and build number and created a declarative pipeline script. The script has several stages. The first stage is for checking out the Git repository where our code is hosted and also execute a bunch of simple shell commands. The second stage is the build stage wherein we create a tar file with all the shell scripts from the repository. The next stage is for uploading the artifacts using the OCI DevOps plugin. We will use the OCI cred ID to access the OCI credentials which we just configured. Copy and update the repository ID from the console and then add the artifact which we built in the previous stage to the artifact repository. Also, set the artifact path with deployment underscore spec.yaml for the deployment configuration. One final step is to trigger the deployment pipeline. We will use the OCI DevOps plugin and pass the build number in the arg underscore maps. Set the display name of the deployment pipeline as test deployment followed by the build number. Call the DevOps endpoint and copy the pipeline ID from the console and set up the polling configuration parameters. Now, go back to the Jenkins console and create a pipeline project. Scroll down and update the pipeline script. Go ahead and save the changes. Let us now test the deployment. Select build now to start the deployment process. You will notice the staged view of the pipeline on the Jenkins console and it takes a little longer time to complete triggering the deployment pipeline. You will verify the logs on the OCI console and see the deployment progress. Here, you'll notice the logs of every step in the console on the right. Further, you can also verify the logs on the Jenkins console. Go to the compute instance in order to check your run command. Let us SSH into the compute instance with our private key, which you just downloaded while creating the instance. Type in sudo su to log into the root compartment and go ahead and change the directory to check the temp slash integration test folder. You'll notice that the artifacts.tar.gz file has been successfully copied to the integration test folder. 